your own deck with Ursula Camille. And this is The Triage Room. The Triage Room is a podcast that encourages and empowers listeners to overcome obstacles of pain. Pain is the physical suffering or discomfort caused by illness or injury. When we describe the type of pain we're having, we're really describing the symptoms. Once we identify the symptoms, then we can deal with the root. Welcome to The Triage Room. You're now on deck with Ursula Camille, and this is the triage room. Today's topic, the rich ruler. Let's take a look at Luke chapter 18, starting at verse 18 through 23. And a certain ruler asked him saying, good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, why callest thou me good? None is good, save one that is God. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill. Do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, all these have I kept from my youth up. Now, when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou hast and distribute unto the poor and thou should have treasure in heaven and come follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful for he was very rich. Here we can see the rich ruler. The lens he was looking through, reflecting on his life, asking how to inherit eternal life. Thought that he had checked all the boxes according to what he was speaking when Jesus pointed out the commandments and he said what he had done from his youth up. And Jesus continued on with sharing with him what else was needed. The rich ruler struggled and was sad because his trust was not in God. His trust was in his riches. And so as Jesus spoke, he could not wrap his mind around doing what Jesus was giving him to do. And all it did was expose the rich ruler's heart. It exposed the truth of really, really where the rich ruler was in that moment, in that conversation. When Jesus told him, you know, why calleth me good? And he pointed out there's only one that's good. And then the rich ruler continued in his conversation with Jesus going through his version or his perception of how he saw himself and how he thought things were according to his perception. And this conversation was just exposing the rich ruler's heart and exposing that God is the source. Money is just the resource. So the riches that the ruler was not willing to give to the poor was just showing where he thought he was. He was not there, nor was he willing to have a heart to give, nor was he willing to understand that his trust should not be in the riches. His trust should be in God. So when Jesus said, and follow me, he couldn't wrap his mind around that. So he walked away saddened instead of looking at, oh, wow, this is what's required. This is what is needed. This is what it's about. I have plenty. So in loving my neighbor as I love myself is making sure when I see one that has a lack in an area, when one is less fortunate than I, this is where I should be a blessing. But instead he walked away sad because he could not wrap his mind around putting his trust in God, this conversation exposed that his trust was in his riches. And here's my moment of transparency. I know what it's like to put my trust in God and understanding that he is my source and that the tools and the things that God blesses us with are just resources, but he is the source for the resources. And looking at the many different obstacles, things in life that God has allowed me to experience instead of having the perception that this should not have been, God has allowed me to see it from the perspective of these were opportunities for me to trust him because of my trust was in something else. Just like that rich ruler being saddened and walking away, I wouldn't understand what it is to put my trust in God. To put my trust in him and follow him, follow his ways, follow what it is that's pleasing to him, follow 
what is required. And if we're not careful, just like this rich ruler, thinking that all the boxes are checked, thinking that I'm good because I did this or I'm good because I did that. When the mirror is brought to our face for us to see ourselves, we would either look at the truth of what's being shown or like this rich ruler, turn and walk in a different direction away from where we should be, away from what is pleasing to God, away from what is necessary because our trust is not been placed in God. Our trust has not been placed where it should be, but our trust has been placed in the wrong thing, in the wrong place, in the wrong source. There's really not a source. It's just a resource. So I encourage you when it comes to this whole parable about the rich ruler, ask yourself, have you been putting your trust in God or have you been putting your trust in things? Have you been putting your trust in God or have you been putting your trust elsewhere? God is the source and it's through God the resources come. I trust you always remain in him. Not in things, not in people, but we should put our trust in God. And this is not to say that the Lord does not want us to have things. But it is to say that the things that we do have, as this rich ruler was very rich, it is not for us to put our trust in that. Our trust should remain in God. And we are to follow Jesus Christ. We're to follow in his ways. We're to follow in his character. Follow in what is pleasing to the Lord. And he blesses us to be a blessing. Things cannot save us. Only Jesus can save. So when it comes to the rich ruler, let us ask ourselves, is our trust where it should be, which is in God? Or have we erred in putting our trust in people, places, and things? Let us pray. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord, just to say thank you. I thank you for life, health, and strength. Lord, I ask you, Lord, that those that are in a place of misunderstanding that what they have been blessed with is not for them to put their trust in those things, Lord, but it is to see you in it all and to understand, God, that we are to put our trust solely in you. We don't put our trust in things. We don't put our trust in man. We don't put our trust, God, in the places where it should not be. Our trust should go into you, Father, for you are the source to the resources. And Lord, for that one that may have been struggling in this area, that may they now be strengthened. May their understanding come forth. May their eyes be opened to the truth of knowing that trust should only be placed in you. Lord, I thank you. I praise you and I glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You all be blessed. Thank you for joining me on deck in the triage room. To get the music you hear in this podcast or to stay connected, visit my website, UrsulaCamille.com. That's U-R-S-E-L-A-C-A-M-I-L-L-E.com. Sign up on my email list, get merch and more. Have an area of pain you want to address in the triage room? Send your email to the triage room at gmail.com. I'm your host, Ursula Camille, signing off. Be blessed. One touch in your life to change. Did you know that Jesus reigns? One touch in your life to change.